welcome back to my channel so for those who are new to my channel please subscribe to my youtube channel Anira Haris all right so without wasting our time let's begin our topic so for today's video I will be lecturing about a subject FF W242 TV writing for children all right so this a uh, subject is all about how to write a screenplay or a movie script, TV series, so, but basically it's for TV series for children. So for today's topic for this particular class is how to find a right word when you are writing a script for children's TV series. Okay, let's check it out you have shaped the idea or you have uh, uh, complete finding the idea or shape the idea of what story you're going to write or going to produce of course you have to develop the characters as the previous lecture series I have been lecturing about uh, characters for uh, children's TV series, right? So after you have locked your characters and you have structuring your plot, now it is the time for you to write the script. But and the most important part when you are writing a script for TV children's, uh, I mean for uh, children's TV series, the dialogue. Okay, the dialogue sounds simple. Sounds alright what that is what the characters will say in the movie yeah but when you are um, usually a writer for children's TV series they will understand there's a difference within uh, writing for TV children's and for a TV series for adult or a movie or feature film for uh, other uh, age uh, phase okay so is it really important? Yes, it is really important. Have you ever watched, or maybe you, you can try to remember when you were a child, uh, watching any TV series, you didn't understand anything at all. You tend to get bored. Yeah, because you cannot um, understand what's the story all about. Yes, you may understand the, the structure of the story, uh, the, the gesture, the action of the character, but what about the content itself, uh, dialogue uh, said by the character. So a child usually, usually, they don't really bother or don't really care about what the characters say because the major uh, element in writing for children is usually the other technical uh, aspects such as the character, such as the sound effect, the audio, that is what the first thing caught your attention. Like, um, have you ever watched Dora the Explorer? Right, so Dora got a, a very limited uh, dialogue there. But if you uh, turn off the audio, would you still understand the Dora's shows? Of course, because they have a good or a great um, a visual support. But what about if you are writing a, a series, a series uh, about a story, perhaps an adventure, imagination world? Of course, uh, visual itself couldn't be support by itself. You still need a dialogue. So let's find out what are the criteria for writing a, a good dialogue, finding a right word in writing a children's script. Of course, there are so many or hundred uh, ways, but what I'm going to list down here is the most important. Number one, show, don't tell. Yeah, you you have to show the story first, okay? But uh, what does this is so important? This topic is about finding a right word. How come you should uh, you say don't tell, just show? Okay, here's the thing: showing meaning you are creating, creating your story about the scenes, the details of your story, and uh, of course. 
uh, what are the characters inside your story so you are showing uh, showing already you are creating all this environment for your story so telling versus showing which one is the most important part showing correct showing is the most important part. I sound like a Dora now <laughs> all right so showing is most uh, more important rather than telling but here comes the telling part plays it in it's an important role whereby you cannot explain it through your action or your your, your character uh, come into this uh, particular scene whereby it needs to be explained even Dora needs to ask you what happened at this particular moment like where is the ball so if yeah if you can read the lead of course you know what i'm asking about right but what if dora didn't talk it's just at this junction of course you won't understand what are you trying to ask right so this is whereby showing versus telling there whereby there come a point you need to tell so number two is word power what is word power okay let me explain the word power meaning each nouns vocabulary adjective each word that you choose to put into your script carries a weight okay so you cannot just simply pick a word that you think oh this is the right word to describe this scene okay you need to consider whether this word that you choose to use in that scene or in that particular uh, story is suitable or can be understand by the child or not so uh, about your um final project i believe you uh, you you need to write your own episode so please be careful on finding your word describing a scene especially when it involves a, a, a description or a, to describe something all right so explanation uh, that is very important how to stress the word number three is language okay language for children uh, or style how to write your language gives a certain impact all right so you when you choose the language that uh, that same frequency with your children with a child they receive the meaning so what we are focusing here is the meaning first okay Rather than you choose uh, Datuk Nur Sham style or you choose your mommy style, how to explain, you cannot go out. Alright, so uh, usually in, in, uh, in news, alright, they, they use a formal style, a formal uh, language. Put in your mind, you are writing for a child. It doesn't matter if your dialogue sounds so, uh, sounds so funny, sounds so, oh my god, this is so childish. Let it be because this is for children. But when I say uh, let it be, you don't simply make your, your, your dialogue sound so stupid. Okay? So that is the most uh, important thing when you are writing your own uh, dialogue, okay? So I'm moving forward to the category, okay? Uh, overall, I was talking about choosing a, a right word, but choosing a right word can be divided into few categories. So the first category is, is zero to two years old show. For a child, infancy to toddler, two years old, they simply cannot understand a sentence, okay? Have you ever heard a baby talk in a complete language? 
know. They say dada, dada, mama, mama, papa, muck, muck, hungry, hungry. So they don't say mommy, I'm hungry. I'll be dead if my baby, uh, one year old, say that to me. Okay. The second piece is two to five years old. So at this um, uh, pace, usually a child can understand a sentence uh, up to five words or more. So you can uh, design or you can create your dialogue, uh, a simple language like, where is your mommy? Enough. Can you tell me where is your mommy? So yeah, it's complete, correct. But usually two to five years old, you need to uh, grab the keyword first, okay? So the third phase is five to eight years old. Usually this age of kids, they can start a conversation already. So that you can put uh, a, a little bit longer of a sentence or sentences and create a, a small conversation but please remember you still need to choose your word carefully because even though you can start to create conversation but um, a minimal like I said mini conversation do not put a heavy topic or a heavy words in their conversation all right so phase number four is 8 to 12 years old whereby this age a child can understand a complex conversation already such as a puzzle a mystery okay a little bit of suspense a complex conversation like do you want to know something? Like, so, you, you put a mystery element or perhaps you can go further, alright? So, these are the four stages that you need to pay attention of uh, how to create a dialogue or dialogues for their particular shows, alright? Uh, I believe in this class, I've given you tasks and you already choose your target audience look carefully understand your target audience first so that whenever you are start or uh, you, you are start uh, to write your script put in your mind that you need to be that uh, uh, your target audience stage so whenever you are creating dialogue like how would uh, perhaps six years old kid would respond to this situation yes keep asking yourself okay don't simply put what you think because you are already adult Okay, go back to your childhood. But a child nowadays, even though they are just one year old, they already know how to unlock the smartphone because they observe. So you, another key factor, observe a child, of, especially child nowadays. How do they act? How do they talk? How do they um, understand something? So your script, should be naturally approaching them all right so that will be all for today's topic i'll see you guys next week with my next video if you guys have any question inquiry do leave me a call a whatsapp text comment or anything you you know how to reach me right so see ya